If you're wanting to run ads on TikTok for your Shopify store, you're going to need to get a pixel set up. And if you don't have it set up properly, you're gonna be losing money on your Shopify store. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the easiest method to install the TikTok pixel on your Shopify store so you can optimize your ads to get more sales quickly. If you don't know what a pixel is, it's basically a little piece of code that gets installed on your store. And what it does is it tracks all your visitors' behaviors. It tracks things like page views, it tracks what pages they go to, it tracks what interactions they have, like adding to cart, reaching checkout, and having a conversion. It even tracks the conversion value. And why this is important is all that data then gets sent back to TikTok. And then what TikTok can do is then optimize the ads based on those metrics that are being sent back from the pixel. And why this is important is you wanna be able to tell TikTok what results that you wanna get from the ads. So you can set up your ad to say, I wanna get more sales. And then what the pixel does is it tracks all the sales and it tells TikTok and then TikTok can go out and find more people like that, okay? So a pixel is super important and we wanna make sure it is set up right. If you don't have it, then there's no point running any ads. Now, if you haven't got any ads set up and you want to do it, I have created a video on how to set up TikTok ads from scratch. You can check that one out here. But if you just wanna learn how to set up a pixel, let's jump into the Shopify store now. We wanna click over to sales channels and we're going to go in here and we're gonna click all recommended sales channels. We can already see there is one here that says TikTok. That's the one we're gonna install. Now, if you don't have this one on your store, we're gonna click Shopify app store and in here we can search for TikTok, okay? These are the results you're gonna come up and you can see there's many other pixels that are installed here, but I don't want you to install those ones. I want you to install this one here. So let's just click into it and make sure it's the right one. We wanna make sure the developer is TikTok Inc. I'm going to click install. This is gonna take you to your Shopify store and then take you through the setup process. We wanna make sure that we click install again. So let's just go through these steps here. There's only three steps, which is connecting the TikTok account, uh, setting up our data sharing, and then completing the company information. So we're gonna click continue setup. Here we're gonna to need to connect to our TikTok for Business account. Now, if you don't have a TikTok for Business account, I've put a link down below to the current best deal that is for TikTok. Now, sometimes these deals give you free credit to get started. So if you're just starting TikTok, I urge you to take one of those offers up. Once you've got your TikTok account, we're gonna click connect. And we can see my one's already picked up my TikTok account. If yours hasn't, we can go switch user and you'll see a screen a little bit like this. We can just log in directly with TikTok here. It's gonna bring this up. Our one's called Dost. We're gonna click continue. And then we're gonna click connect here. Awesome, so let's click connect again. And we can see that that is all good to go. So that we should have a green tick here. That one's connected. We've now got a green tick to the Business Center account. So just to show you what's happening here, this is connecting us to the Business account, this is connecting us to the Business Center account, and this is connecting us to the Ads account. So we're gonna click Connect. Okay, so this is where we want to uh, decide on what sort of data we wanna share. Now this is really important because the way TikTok advertising platform works is it uses as much data points as possible to try and find the right customer because its goal is to get you sales because if it gets you sales, you're gonna spend more money with them. So what we wanna do is give it as much data as possible. So in this section here, we are going to choose maximum. Now in certain regions across the world, we may not to be able to do maximum based on privacy policies, but if you're in you know, most of the Western countries, we should be able to do this, but just double check your privacy policy that you can do this. But ideally we wanna do maximum here. And as you can see, it said the same thing here that we need to check the privacy policy. Uh, now this is where we, I've already actually got a TikTok pixel here. So you probably won't have one there. So I'm gonna get you to click create pixel. And it's gonna go across into TikTok and insert this pixel into your TikTok ads account. Okay, great, so it's created that new one there. And we'll just remember this one, uh, 229, as the end, because we're gonna jump into TikTok and make sure it's there. And we're gonna click Confirm. And we can see everything there is ticked, and we're gonna click Finish Setup. Now what we wanna do is just make sure that this pixel is working. So there's a little add-on that we can do to our Chrome browser, which is called the TikTok Pixel Helper. To get that, we're just gonna type in TikTok Pixel Helper Chrome. It's gonna bring us up this one here, which is in the Chrome Web Store. We're gonna choose that one. Now I've already got it installed, but you should be able to install it directly in Chrome. Once you've got that installed, we're gonna head over to our website that we've installed the Pixel on. Now I'm just gonna move my head out of the way so you can see what we're doing here. I'll put it down here. 
All right, so we're gonna click the extension and we're gonna click TikTok Pixel Helper. And now we can see that these events are now being fired because we've viewed the page. So what I want you to do now is I want you to go through your store and click a couple of things and we're gonna see whether or not the pixel fires correctly. So let's click add to cart. I'll grab that one there and I'll click add to cart. And then I'm gonna double check the pixel helper here and see what events. Yep, we've got page view, we've got view content and we've got add to cart is working well. And we can see this is the 229 pixel that we just talked about. So everything is working well there. Okay, great. That looks like it's all working as designed. And it's as simple as that, guys. You've got your pixel installed quickly and easily. And this is going to help you optimize your TikTok ads account. Now, if you want to learn how to do TikTok ads, check out the video here on how to set them up from scratch easy one for beginners. If however, you do want help growing your e-commerce business, I do run the e-commerce academy where we teach everything that you need to know to grow your store from where you are now to where you dream to be. And that could be anything from $10,000 a month to a million dollars a year. So if you want to work with me, I put some details down below. Now, if you just want to binge on the free content that I put out. Here's two videos that YouTube thinks is going to be useful for you to grow your e-commerce business that sit on my channel. So check those ones out.